Hey guys, Ironheart here, back again with some more news about the tactical World War II shooter Hell Let Loose. The developers have released some more information about Update 10 which is dropping this month on July 27th. As we know, Update 10 will see the introduction of the Soviet forces and the Eastern Front. But now we've got more information about the Soviet weaponry that we can expect in this upcoming update as well as some of the meta changes and cool customization options which will be coming soon. Let's start with the meta changes. Outposts, or OPs for short, are getting a remodel. OPs are the spawn points for individual six-man squads which can only be replaced by squad leaders. The Soviet, German and American OPs will now be roughly the same size and height. This hasn't always been the case. The American and German OPs used to look quite different. Making OPs similar in size and dimension will make it easier for them to be placed in confined spaces like trenches and remove any advantages or disadvantages that the old, very different models might have had, such as being easy to conceal. Concealment leads me on to the next change coming to the objects which players can interact with in the game such as OPs, garrisons, airheads and ammo boxes. The developers have said that they're going to be introducing a light shine effect when you're within 30 meters of these objects so you don't miss them. As long as this is just a light shine and not some neon beacon then I don't think it will be an issue. I just don't want to see this nice gritty aesthetic of the game to be changed to be really noob friendly. The introduction of a light shine to important objects when you're close by will probably help new players get to grips with the game quicker, which is a good thing. OPs and garrisons will also now produce authentic radio clips, so you will be able to hear German, Soviet or American radio chatter when you're close to a garrison or an OP. Further player customization is also coming to the game. The developers have indicated that these cosmetic customizations like scars on soldiers' faces or unit insignias or markings for helmets and different caps will be free but may require certain in-game achievements to unlock. Like you might need to reach level 10 tank commander to unlock this customized jacket. We've got um, some more info about the Soviet weaponry also coming to update 10. Here is a look at three different variants of the iconic Mosin Nagant rifle, including the full length M91 model, the shorter M91-30 version, and the scoped sniper variant. The Soviets will also have access to the SVT-40 semi-automatic rifle, which can also be equipped with a scope. I'll end the video by showing you some screenshots of the first Stalingrad map, which is coming in the next update. The developers have previously said that they plan on releasing more than one Stalingrad map to cover the scope and enormity of the battlefield. I can't wait. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button, like and comment, and I'll see you next time.